Yes. All right. Thank you for the introduction, and thank you, everyone, for joining the Web3 product showcases. So my name is Henry Neminen. I'm head of commercials at Tesseract, which is a Finnish-based crypto credit company. Our vision is to provide most transparent, secure, and regulated crypto yield products in the market. And yes, and uh, today is quite interesting day to discuss about the crypto credit market in general, as we all know basically what the market has been going through during the recent weeks. I want to take this opportunity to tell you how Tesseract is basically solving some of the key challenges in crypto credit market and what Tesseract is doing in a very exciting and fast growing uh, decentralized finance space. So Tesseract we have been founded already five years ago, which basically makes us kind of like a dinosaur in the crypto space. We are focusing on providing financial products for crypto institutions that can provide the services for the end customers as a B2B2C model. We have a wide range of products, which I will tell you soon a little bit more, ranging from crypto lending, which is a centralized product, to more decent rounds of products being a staking and liquidity providing to decentralized finance applications. We are regulated by the Finnish FCA since 2019, which covers basically all the products that we are providing for the customers. So about the problem. So I think we are all aware of the same challenges that crypto space has basically been facing throughout the years that, that the market has been existing. Uh, Satoshi's vision while basically developing Bitcoin was that it should be become a payment solution. But that's basically something that we have never or we haven't seen yet to rea realize. The second challenge is that during the crypto winters and the bear markets that we are going through, we don't see a lot of trading basically capabilities or demand for users as a use case. And as a third one, there is a massive lack of financial products available for the users to basically make benefit for the cryptos that they own. So these basically were the key problems for us when we started developing our products, because there are a lot of people with crypto assets, but basically nothing they can do with those assets. So what was our solution? So basically, Tesseract started creating a network of centralized crypto players, of which have a lot of users with the crypto assets on their, on their wallets doing basically nothing. What we wanted to provide for these users in crypto exchanges or neobanks or asset managers, we wanted to provide them secure way of generating rewards for the assets that they own. Those three products that we released earlier this year were the centralized lending product for the market makers as a first one, which is actually super, super interesting product when we are going through the market shakeups at the moment. Because most of the crisis that we have seen now deriving from Alameda, FTX, Genesis, Gemini, the largest crypto players in the world, are basically all deriving from the facts that the user money were deployed to hedge funds, that the hedge funds were using the user's customers' money to betting on the price developments of the cryptos. And that's something that the market makers don't do. So the product is much, much low risk. Because the market makers, by neutral or by na nature, don't bet with the price developments of the assets. Then the second product is the staking, which is pretty straight or fairly straightforward. And then we provide liquidity or provide the capabilities for the users to provide liquidity for the DeFi applications. And as a return, they can get rewards. All this is done securely transparently, so the users know where their money is basically invested. And the partners, being for example crypto exchanges, the benefit for them is to basically gain higher customer retention as their users actually have a use case for the cryptos they own. How this works in practice is that basically the users on our crypto exchange partners platforms can, for example, select their assets, let's say one of the assets being Ethereum, they can select what kind of investment products they want to uh, utilize and basically deposit their money from the exchange. And the exchange can provide the solution for the users by using our Earn API platform, which gives them basically opportunity to track the deposits, interest accruals, etc. 
and all the money movements or asset movements are do, done through blockchain. So basically, I wanted to make a deep dive today to also the DeFi applications in more details, because that's basically the fastest growing segment, especially now since we have seen the market shakeups in the centralized industry uh, happening. So in DeFi, DeFi is a fairly new concept. It was introduced roughly two years ago for a wider audience. So DeFi basically means that we build financial applications on top of blockchain. And uh, by using basically uh, by using basically smart contracts, those can uh, define the exact financial transactions uh, for the users. So basically everybody knows how those products work. And what it means by that we have been building the application on top of blockchain, it means that the financial applications are available for everyone. They are basically permissionless and they are composable. And composable is the thing that we build applications on top of the previous layers of the other applications. This means that the market is super efficient compared to on the bottom of the slide that we see what is happening in traditional finance. Traditional finance is super concentrated on the large, too big to fail companies. It's super expensive way of doing transactions. So what we believe and what we have been seeing, for example, last roughly three weeks ago, JP Morgan did their first DeFi transaction, so basically a bond, move, bond transfer by utilizing Polygon network and utilizing Aave smart contract. So these kind of, kind of happenings are testimonial for the DeFi and will be the first steps towards mass adoption in DeFi. So what is then Desrac's role in DeFi? So we basically provide liquidity for all these protocols to basically function because the protocols cannot function without liquidity. So we provide or give the users basically capabilities to provide liquidity for the protocols which we have gone through and we have done a due diligence for the protocols to limit basically the technical risk of users losing their assets. And as a return, the users will get rewards from the protocols. So basically, Testract is providing services across DeFi, staking, and centralized lending. And how we see the future developing is that we want to become and be the most reputable, trustworthy credit market participant and provide transparent, secure products for the end users. What are the key milestones that we see that needs to happen before the mass adoption? The first being, we believe we need more regulation in the market to protect consumers and institutions as well. Uh, FTX, which still last week was $30 billion company, lost basically all of their users' money last and this week. So we need regulation for the market to avoid that kind of things happening. We also need enhanced risk management practices for across all the market participants, which is something that has been a backbone of Desrec from the beginning. And in the DeFi side, we need more transparency on what are the incentive models in these very complex uh, DeFi protocols, so people understand how those basically work. And we also need some regulation in the DeFi segment as well before institution can actually enter to that market. With all these milestones achieved, hopefully within the next five years or so, we will see the mass adoption basically across institutions and end users to come reality. And that's also the time for test track when we see that the credit market will actually boom and grow exponentially in the coming years. So thank you, everyone, for listening. And uh, enjoy your day at Slush. And if you want to know more about Testrack, just uh, give us a message. And uh, yeah, thank you, everyone.